Today I'm going to show you the secret to getting more out of YouTube and Google. Uh, this is something that everybody should know but very few people do know. So just imagine for a second if you could have the most powerful search engine in the world and the second most powerful search engine in the world working around the clock for you. So the benefits are it's going to save you more time. It's going to keep your finger on the pulse of all your personal interests and business interests and news. And it really will keep you ahead of the curve and your competition, whether that's your business competition or your internal competition when it comes to getting promotion for work, etc. This kind of thing can keep you ahead of the game. So basically, why waste your time searching the web when Google will do it all for you? And Google Alerts is basically a very powerful tool. Quite surprised a lot of people don't know, know much about it. Um, I'm going to show you seven great things that Google Alerts will actually be able to do for you. You can find out what's been said about you, your business, or your products or services online. So as soon as someone posts a comment <coughs> on yourself or your business, Google will send a, a, an alert to you. It's going to show you how to use it to monitor a developing news story, topic, or an event that you're interested in. How you can spy on your competitors and find out everything that they're doing as soon as they do it. Keep up to date on your celebrities that you're interested in, sports teams, TV shows, that kind of thing. Monitoring the web for all your personal and business interests. You can even generate new sales leads for your business. And I'm going to show you also how to watch for new videos that match a specific topic. So if you go to uh, Google and you just type in Google Alerts, top of the page, Google Alerts. I'm going to show you just very easily how anybody with or without a, a Google account can actually set up uh, Google Alerts instantly. Let's say for talking sake that I'm interested in my own website. Obviously that's my business, so I'm interested in anything that's posted on the internet about my website. So the search term in this case is www.youtube saved my life Com. Google then asks you what type of search do you want. Do you want them to search everything? So they'll search all the news sites, the blog sites, the web generally, and um, videos or groups. So I'm particularly interested in everything, so comprehensive. How often do I want the update? I'm going to choose as it happens because basically if anything's posted on the internet about my website, I want to know about it and my email address and create an alert. Now you see here that Google say, your Google alert request has been created and a verification email has been sent to me. So here's the alert that you get through from Google. And all you have to do to launch this alert now by clicking on the link. And you, and you see there that now the Google alert has been verified. Anytime the the website name www.youtubesavemylife.com appears on a blog or uh, on a news site or anybody writes anything about it, Google index it, I will get an instantaneous email. Now, if you think about that, it's impossible to do it in reverse. You'd have to be checking all the time. So Google are going to check for me. They know what they're updating. They know I'm interested in it. And as soon as they see something I'm interested in, they fire it off to me. Um, if you're interested in anything that's said about you on the web, now bear in mind, you hear the term, people say, just Google them or Google her or whatever. So people are looking for information about people on the web, your customers and your personal contacts. Now you'll notice I'm putting quotation marks around the search term. That means that the name Steve and Pollard must come next to each other. I'm going to, again, I'm interested in a comprehensive search of the whole web. And there's another alert created in my competitor. So, their website, and I could find out a lot more about them. You could use it for your biggest customer. Um, so, when your biggest customer's uh, in the news somewhere or something's about him, you can pick up the phone and say, Hi, I read that X, Y and Z's happening to you. Now that makes you look good as a supplier of services. 
So uh, again, that could be very valuable for the relationship. Okay, Google Alerts is great, but it's even more powerful if you combine it with Google Advanced Search. So to do an advanced search in Google, um, go to the home page. Let's say I'm interested in another very popular newsworthy subject at the moment, this uh, climate gate scandal, if you like, where a lot of these emails have been uh, put into the public domain from a hacker to say that the, the actual scientists have been fudging the, the climate figure. Uh, fi okay, and I'll do a search. There's, there's, there's 2,620,000 results there. And they're not in any particular order. So, so, so that one, for example, is two days ago. I don't know when this one is. So, you know, you get 25th of November, you get 21st of November, 23rd of November. It's not in the, the order that I would like. If I want to do an advanced search, you see here next to the search, there's an advanced search, search link. Click on that. Again, I'm still interested in climate gate emails, but I'm only interested in information that was posted at a certain time. So, there's various other options here. So I want a page that's been updated in the last 24 hours. So do an advanced search. Now my results have been narrowed down to 54,000. Okay, so I've got one 19 hours ago, 22 hours ago. Now what I'm looking at is the most up-to-date information. Okay, now this is slightly different from Google News because Google decide what goes into Google News, whereas this is searching the web, so you might find a different type of information. Um, now, let's, if I was interested in not only climate gate emails, but I wanted to be updated automatically using Google Alerts on any new climate gate emails uh, reports on Google, uh, YouTube, sorry. So, search within a site or domain, and I'm going to search under YouTube. Com. Now what I'm using this for is to get the correct advanced search term. So there's, so there's nothing that's come up um, today in the last 24 hours for climate gate emails. That's fine. That's not what I'm interested in here. What I'm interested in is this power search term. To type that search in, you'd have to put all in title climate gate emails site youtube.com now that's something that you wouldn't automatically know how to search now i'm going to cut and paste this search term and i'm going to put it into the search terms in a google alert so there's the search term that i want all entitled climate gate again i didn't have to think about it i used the advanced search in google to create it any you any videos that are uploaded on youtube within the last 24 hours so it's all new fresh videos that have, um, I'm going to get that email alert. And lastly, I want to show you YouTube advanced search. Okay, so go to YouTube. So I'm interested in swine flu in Ukraine. And I carry out a search. I'm looking at 951 different videos. But there's one a week ago, there's one three weeks ago. This has been going on for a while. So really what I'm interested in is the most up-to-date information. So if you see down here, there's an advanced options. Let's just click in there and I'll show you what you can do. So this is me now telling YouTube in a bit more detail what I'm looking for. I'm interested in anything with swine flu in Ukraine in it. I might want something that's short, medium or long. So I'll take any videos between 4 and 20 minutes. But I want something that's been uploaded today, particularly. And I'll carry out a search. So now what I'm looking at is five videos, all related to my results. Swine flu Ukraine and all today. If you're looking for current information on YouTube, if you're using it to get your news for talking sake, which is proven to be very popular now, then YouTube's great but you don't want to be filtering through old videos. So use advanced options, get to the point, get to the videos that you want sooner and save yourself some time.